A Fort Worth police officer is at the center of an investigation following allegations of excessive use of force. A woman was sent to the hospital for injuries she sustained during her arrest early Sunday morning near West 7th. Video of the incident circulating online. Here's Alicia Barrera. Good evening, Councilman Chris Nettles, as well as several community members are pushing for an executive session to happen as today was the last meeting for city leaders. However, now they'll be back Friday to hear directly from police on what exactly happened Sunday morning. Carolyn Rodriguez showed up to Fort Worth City Council Chambers today, bruised and still in shock. Like my arm is really sore, my back is really sore, my neck's really sore. It was Sunday around 3 a.m. that she was streaming a live video on YouTube in the city's entertainment district. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Rodriguez says she frequently records police activity for her channel. And all we do is we film the police while they're doing their duties and just to make sure they're not violating anybody's rights. During this occasion, things escalated after she asked police and a tow truck driver why they were towing away vehicles. They're saying, okay, we're going to tow this, we're going to tow that. Let's see. What are we going to do? at some points using profanity. That's the spirit, I say up. And after she closely approaches two female officers. How do you know if they paid or not, ladies? Hey ladies, hey ladies, hey ladies. Hey, A male officer can be heard giving Rodriguez commands to go on the other side of the street, telling her there is an investigation underway, but Rodriguez refuses. No, before. There's no investigation. No you can go to the other side of the street, you're going to get arrested. I'm not warning you again. You she was about? arrested, taken to the hospital, and faces four charges. I had a concussion. I had my shoulder was taken out of joint. My elbow was taken out of joint. Councilman Chris Nettles pushing for transparency from police after watching the nearly seven-minute video. It was just completely alarming. And while an internal investigation is underway at Fort Worth PD, the department said the officer's duties have not changed. Now, Nettles, Rodriguez, and other community members are demanding for body camera video to be released. There's still a lot of answers that we want. This might give them a little push to do that. And for another special meeting that allows for public comment. Oh, I think it's important before we go on operate, let them come in. Alicia Barrera, NBC5.